Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mount Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to identify the symbolic claim and hypothesis for a claim about a population standard deviation. Here's our problem statement. Claim. The standard deviation of pulse rates of adult males is more than 12 beats per minute. For a random sample of 161 adult males, the pulse rates have a standard deviation of 12.8 beats per minute. Complete parts A and B below. Okay, part A asks us to express the symbolic uh, form of the original claim. So to do that, we first look in our problem statement to see where the claim is. The claim is this first statement here in the problem statement. The standard deviation of pulse rates of adult males is more than 12 beats per minute. So this first drop down, we want to select the population parameter that matches standard deviation. It's not going to be the P because P is the representation for population uh, proportion. It's not going to be mu because mu is the representation for population mean. What we want is sigma. Sigma is the population standard deviation. So this is what we'll select. And then the next drop down, <clears throat> we want to look and see what does the claim say about which inequality symbol we should be using. Here it says the standard deviation is more than 12. So we want to select greater than. And then our claimed value is that value from the claim, which is 12. I check my answer. Good job. Now part B wants us to identify the null and alternative hypotheses. These hypotheses will always use the same population parameter from what we see here earlier in part A. So we're looking at standard deviation. So I'm going to select that here. The null hypothesis is by definition a statement of equality. So I want to select the equal sign. And then this value is the claimed value, which we saw earlier was 12. There's my null hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis, typically the alternative hypothesis reflects the claim, unless there is some semblance of equality with the claim, because equality by definition belongs to the null hypothesis. So if there's any semblance of equality, with the claim, then we have to take the complement for our alternative hypothesis. Here, if we look here to part A, what we have here, notice how the symbol here is greater than. There's no or equal to. There's no semblance of equality here. So therefore, we can just adopt this statement as our alternative hypothesis. Nice work! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com. You can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.